When Good Nature started in conservation technology nine years ago, we set out to develop a trap that could kill a rat and automatically reset itself to kill again and again and again. Nine years later, here we are on Stewart Island, home of Rakiora National Park, and we're 12 months into a rat eradication of native island. The exercise is proving how Good Nature's A24 rat trap can remove the target species and keep it that way so that our native birds can begin their return from the deep south. Native Island is 65 hectares in area, with habitat typical of the forests on the Stewart Island mainland. Also typical of the mainland, native birds were under severe pressure from rats. In fact, the island was saturated with rats, with a 73% density when monitored before we began the operation with the Good Nature A24 traps. Now Native Island has a different distinction. It's the first island in the world to be eradicated of rats by using only automatic resetting traps. So how did we do it? The answer lies in the design of the A24 trap. This is the Good Nature A24 trap. The A stands for automatic and the 24 stands for the number of kills you get per CO2 canister. It's a really simple system and in this cutaway you can see all of the key elements. The rats are tracked into the trap by our long life lure and to get to the lure they need to brush past the sensitive trigger and when they do it releases a chamber of pressurised CO2 sending the striker across with great force killing the animal instantly. The striker is on a spring which allows it to retract following a kill. At this point gravity takes hold and the animal drops out. The chamber of CO2 automatically refills making the trap instantly available to kill again. We developed the A24 trap in partnership with the New Zealand Department of Conservation who sought labour saving methods in the critical bird protection programs that it runs. The A24 sits in our toolbox, in the department's toolbox, right up there because it's our only non-toxic method to knock down and control rats, possums and stoats besides a couple of single action methods which are highly labour intensive and A24s just reduce that labour by up to 75%. Before installing the Good Nature A24 traps, we estimated the density of rats on Native Island and also directly across the water on Stewart Island using tracking cards and tracking tunnels. This process is called monitoring. It's a simple and scientific method that gives us our benchmark numbers which we can assess the effectiveness of the traps by. Twelve months ago, the pre-monitor on Native Island recorded a rat density of 73%, significantly higher than the 16% density recorded on Stewart Island. The first monitor, eight weeks after establishing the Good Nature Network, showed that the traps were having a pronounced effect. The rat density on Native Island almost halved, while on Stewart Island without the Good Nature Network, the density actually increased. It took only 12 months to get the monitor levels down to 0% on Native Island, and it's at this stage that the beauty of the Good Nature system really shines. A network of A24 traps not only takes a rat population down to 0%, but it keeps it there with minimal maintenance requirements. The system becomes an unmatched biosecurity control tool, preventing any reinvading rodents from establishing a fresh population. This is great news for our endangered native birds, which require levels of rats to be consistently low over a sustained period to breed, feed, fledge and ultimately flourish. And who says there's no such thing as a free lunch? Good Nature believes New Zealand will be pest free. It won't be tomorrow, but that doesn't mean that we shouldn't start today.